first year postgraduate physiotherapy students at Swinburne University of Technology in Melbourne are revising for their looming midterm exam after completing their six week human anatomy and biomechanics unit. In addition to learning the evidence-based core competencies, the Master of Physiotherapy course exposes students to a new way of learning with technologies in an anatomy and biomechanics setting. Physiotherapy course director, Doa al gives us an insight on what kinds of technologies are being used. So some examples of the technologies that we're using in education currently would be digital media by way of anatomage. So that's a table that has prosected specimens in it, but it's not a wet lab environment. Um, and it's actually uh, showcased on uh, Grey's Anatomy and some of the Hollywood movie sites. Um, we're also using uh, VR, so virtual reality, so the immersion uh, in an environment where you can actually walk around a model and see it 3D. You can also implode it and explode it, rebuild it, and it gives the student um, an, a, a sort of an experience um, that is very individual to their learning. So what do the students think of this? This cohort of students was surveyed at the beginning of the course, and they were asked about ways in which they believe they can learn. Almost 90% of students surveyed said that virtual reality can be beneficial to their learning. So for me, um, using VR is a great way to visualise muscle and joint function. So um, I like to pull up a part of the body and I can walk around it and get a 360 degree view of it. I can peel apart the layers and understand the complexity of the structure. Um, so I think it's really useful in kind of drawing those concepts together. Um, so as I guess the saying goes, it's not the anatomy that changes, it's our understanding of the anatomy that changes. So it's really cool to have, I guess, innovative technological ways to look at the anatomy and if something does change, they can update the technology really easily and we can view it in a whole new light um, and I guess understand it in a whole new light. So why use this technology to educate the new generation? We've done some benchmark testing with our students and what we have noticed that this generation that presents um, to the tertiary sector are multimodal learners. And so we uh, are engaging with new technologies to tap into um, the different ways of learning. For instance, using uh, material, digital material that's uh, predominantly visual or auditory presentations in terms of iPod casts, um, digital analogue, uh, materials which um, question using quizzes and um, informatic systems and immersion using VR uh, so that the student can actually visualise things in a 3D environment. So where will these skills lead the students in their physiotherapy careers? That is a question for the future.